Hello and welcome to 18XX Training. My name is Joe Leone and this evening I am going to be showing you how to play 18 Chesapeake Off the Rails. 18 Chesapeake Off the Rails is a variant of 18 Chesapeake, an 18XX game. It reduces the number of trains, replaces the stock market to produce a fast and wild version of the game. Right now it is available to play on 18xx.games. This expansion requires 18 Chesapeake to play. It will include a stock market, a bank pool mat, alternate $1100 D trains, and the rule sheet. The rules are available on Board Game Geek. The expansion itself is not going to be published until this summer. Pre orders are over at this time. I will show you how I use my existing collection to play this variant. From my copy of 1882, I pull out the game board, the bank pool, and the diesel trains. Fold out the 1882 game board. Then place the 18 Chesapeake game board so that the 1882 stock market is showing. Before we go much further, let's talk about what this does to the game. We will compare the stock markets side by side. The first thing of note is that in 18 Chesapeake you had three par prices. In Off the Rails, you can par a company between $67 and $100, a total of six different par prices. This will give more variability in the amount of capital each company has at the beginning of the game and late in the game. The original 18 Chesapeake stock market only has six squares of yellow zone. Very difficult to keep a company in the yellow. With Author Rails, you have an extended yellow zone in which the shares do not count against your cert limit. You have an orange zone where you can control more than 60% of a company and a brown zone where you can buy multiple shares as a single stock action. There is one small difference in the stock market between Off the Rails and 1882, and that is the game ends at the first 300. So the last four squares of the 1882 stock market are not used. Back to the components. You also need to pull the bank pool and the $1,100 diesels from 1882 made a small cheat card to fit over the board that shows a starting bank of $12,000 and the fact that it only takes 50% to float a company. One other significant change is that the stock round is now sell by sell 1830 style. Before the game begins, remove two, two, three, and four trains and a single five train from the available trains. Place the $900 diesels in 18 Chesapeake with the $1,100 diesels from 1882. This will give you a very limited train supply. There are only 12 non-permanent trains. Timing to get the permanence is going to be vitally important. A final word of warning. Scott has recommended that this variant is to only be played as the last game of the night. At least it should be short. <coughs> I hear the conductor. That means it's time to go. If you've enjoyed the video, leave me a like and a comment. Until next time, have fun training.